I think today what's changed is that uh, we consume content through pictures and videos. And what Instagram has done is that it's become a pure platform only for that, right? So unlike the way other platforms evolved, the objective of Instagram was to share and share your stories through, through pictures, through videos. So the way the format of the platform itself makes it much easier. So when I upload pictures from the Instagram app on my cell, it's so easy. I just have to keep flicking it and, you know, the screen keeps rolling and I keep seeing the different kind of visuals and pictures and videos of the brands. So the ease of using the format, the fact that it's focused only on only on that itself has, uh, you know, made Instagram very popular. So uh, one of the reasons why people are really using it so much and uh, coming on to it on a daily basis, which is a big challenge for many social media networks. To me, the categories that work best on Instagram are food and beverage, travel and hospitality, and fashion. So these three categories really lend themselves well to it because of the sheer uh, visual appeal that these categories have with them. So if you take examples of, and let me give you an example of one brand each and, and all of that. So if you see a paper boat in the food and beverage category, you know, you see the, when you land up on their page and uh, the way they have done their creators, you know, made the brand seamless with the different kind of products that they have, the stories that they've built. Uh, similar thing you can see in ITC hotels from the travel and uh, hospitality space. So the way they have, uh, you know, invited a lot of Instagram meetups that they've conducted, you know, called a lot of uh, Instagrammers to share their pictures of dining, of staying at the property, uh, of, you know, people all coming and sharing their stories while they are at the, at the venue. And being able to leverage those examples, uh, those pictures is what has made these brands well. And if you see in fashion, you have uh, the international apparel maker Zara, right, which has been doing exceedingly well. So they talk, it's not like they don't talk about their product. They definitely put pictures of their products. But the way they have done that, you know, it's so creative. Each of them has an element of, of fun and interactivity with the users over there. And I think this is why these three examples specifically that at least whom I follow, you know, in this space, uh, work with me. And I feel that this is what should be an uh, ideal way a brand should be leveraging this platform. So I think video has become a big part of every social media platform. Facebook is uh, focusing on video. Uh, Twitter has its own video platform and now Instagram which had 15 seconds has extended it to 30 seconds. 30 seconds is a lot of time you know in fact the longest TV ad nowadays is 30 seconds. It used to be uh, 60 seconds at a point in time it became 30 and now 10 seconds is largely what ads are about. Uh, given the length it uh, provides a great storytelling experience for brands using Instagram. Also, Instagram is a part of Facebook. So there's a lot of uh, uh, cross traffic uh, that happens across Facebook. A lot of Facebook users are now starting to use Instagram and use Instagram to post on Facebook. So clearly uh, that 30 seconds is uh, really valuable and brands will start looking at the Instagram uh, video commercial as the next opportunity for them uh, to promote their products, brands, uh, portfolio, whatever it may be. They must be aware that Instagram is not a me too platform. So you can't take your photographs or images or creatives on Facebook and Twitter, resize them in a square and put it on Instagram. If you do that, you will get very little mileage from this platform. This platform has its own filters. This platform has its own audience. This platform has its, uh, the audience on this platform has its own mindset. So you need to create creatives for Instagram. They need to look good on the mobile. Uh, Instagram is not a web-based platform. So that's another reason where people are watching your images. It needs to look good on their mobiles. It needs to uh, create a story that will engage the audience, right? Advertising only has just started on Instagram. Community building is still a, a, a growing uh, opportunity. Unlike Facebook where community building is lower and lower and reach is more opportunity. So I strongly feel that you can't just pick 
Facebook and Twitter images and put it on Instagram. You need to focus on Instagram as a separate platform and create content if you want to leverage it.